In this presentation, we will look at the post goods issue process. So we initially created the sales order. In there, we mentioned the material, the customer, company code, sales org related information such as sales organization, division, distribution channel, and so on. Then after you create the sales order, the next process is to do the post goods issue or to do the goods issue process. Now when you do this process, a financial accounting entry will happen. The materials account, that is your inventory account, gets credited because goods is going away from your inventory, so that is credited. Then your cost of goods sold account gets debited because it's a cost of goods sold expense, so this gets debited. The inventory account is a balance sheet account. The cost of goods sold account is your PL account. Now let's go to the sales order. We'll go to VA02, that is to change the sales order, and from there we can do the delivery. So VA02, enter your order number, press enter to continue, and then here what you need to do is to ensure that the required delivery date is in the future date, not on a current date or in a past date. So I'm just going to change this to 29-11-2016, and this date is also 29-11-2016. Press enter to continue. It's all right. And then just change that as well. Now let's just check all the other dates. It's also ensure that it's in the future. Delivery dates in the future. Item detail. Pricing that is fine. That's on the based on the pricing. Ordering party. Required delivery date. That's fine. Procurement date. And then let's go to shipping. So shipping is at 2911, that is all good. Any other future dates, just ensure that they are all into the future dates. And then let's just go double click in the retail line and just check shipping here again. Yes, everything is all right. Okay, now let's save the order. And after that change to the sales order, come to outbound delivery, that is sales and distribution, shipping and transportation, outbound delivery, create single document VL01N with reference to sales order. Select that and here ensure that the selection date is also in the future and specify your order number over here, your shipping point, press enter to continue and then this your outboard delivery information is coming up. If everything is okay, check the dates, all good, then save the transaction. Then note down the delivery number. Just double click on it and copy and paste the delivery number to be saved. There are some configuration we need to maintain as part of the sales process and one of them is the maintaining the storage location. So let's look at that. Enterprise structure, definition, materials management and maintain storage location. Just by the words itself we can understand this is where you maintain the storage location of the materials. So you store the materials, your inventory in this particular location. So that's why it's called storage location. Short transaction code OX09. Let me execute that. And specify for your plant. So in one plant you can have many different storage locations. Now you can see here under this particular plant, storage location is already assigned as msl1 or melbourne sl1 or melbourne storage location 1 and you can even assign the addresses and maintain the addresses as well let's show you they can specify your address of this particular storage location let's call this number one over here and press save to continue and here i can specify the detail of this particular storage location i can give it an id of this address specify where it is the storage location is located and so on for example, in one warehouse, you might have different compartments. So you can say compartment 1, compartment 2, and so on. You can specify different storage locations. So that's how you maintain the storage location. So I have specified my storage location as MSL1 under plant ZP02. After you have maintained the storage location, go to transaction code OVL3 and there add this storage location to your shipping point and plant. So I'm just going to go over there. Search for my shipping point, which is M001, which I've created earlier. Against my plants at P02 and key in your storage location, MSL1, and save the transaction. So this way that link is maintained. 
Next, you need to maintain this.